Education Monday, Education Monday on the Tribal Root Studio with Alina Zahil. Changing mindsets in Africa, making a world better. Together, we can make a difference. We are fixing Africa. Education Monday, Education Monday. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Tribal Root Studio and my name is Alina Zahir coming back for the Education Monday and bringing you all the issues, all the topics, all the issues that matter to us. Today, I want to speak about weddings and marriage ceremonies marriage ceremonies whether they are weddings introduction parties or giveaways as we love to call them in Africa and purposely talking about how communities help uh, the people wanting to hold these events the marriage events how we pull together to help these people manage to pull great ceremonies for marriage. In my little town, when young people are proposing to carry out these events, they call upon their friends, they call upon their relatives, they call upon their classmates what we call wedding meetings and at these meetings people are expected to pull money to cover for the costs of the wedding this is the most successful event in Africa where people without question come together and put their monies together for the success of the wedding ceremony People pull a hundred southern Ugandan shillings, they pull two hundred, they pull three hundred, two million, three million, five million, ten million, and name it. Because everyone expects a splendid day of glamour, celebrations, and champagne. Today, what I want to speak about is if the same people are willing to invest in the success of the family that comes after these ceremonies. And this is where I want us all to look and see if we really care about family, if we really care about marriages, if we really care about the success of the new couple. Would we invest in their future? Would we invest in their home? Would we invest in the education of their children? Would we invest in their sanity? Would we invest in their social welfare? And this is the question today. I have been to one of those big meetings where someone contributed 5 million Ugandan shillings and after that said, when I come to your party, I don't want to find cheap liquor or cheap alcohol. I need to enjoy the best brands around this city. Uh, that alone showed me that every time people pull money for these young couples, they also dictate what the money should do. They dictate where the money should go to the extent that we have seen after parties where the couple are in debt they have to borrow money some of them have to take loans for the success of that one day but after that all the other problems that result from holding so many big parties are theirs to meet this is Africa and every time we are in the Tribal Root Studio, we are trying to fix Africa in one way or another. 
Africa has so many challenges. So, so many of them. Socially, politically, economically. But Africa doesn't have enough people who are looking at fixing our problems or bringing solutions to many of the problems we have. Most of the families are suffering economic uh, constraints. They are suffering uh, low levels of income, poverty. And I guess that with the populations and the numbers that we have, we have the ability to help families stand by pulling together for their small enterprises, their small businesses, for their homes, the piece of land. The same way we have managed and really been successful at coming together to bring money together for them to hold that one day ceremony. Let's talk about priorities. Uh, if you have been to Africa's uh, the events like these, you see you come to my home and then we have a southern people all gathered, uh, different tents, and then those magnificent speeches are relatives, uh, maybe to the 10th generation. They all coming for the day. They are happy for the beginning of a new phase of the young couple for a family. None of us is asking the question if these people are really ready financially. None of us wants to know. <clears throat> but the same energy we pull, the same power we have to bring about just a day of food and glamour and dance, we could use the same to pull for this family to really stand. So I was telling my friends and I said, when I get married, if people really want to come to my event in thousands, I would like them to pay for entrance. And my friends were laughing and thinking I am crazy. And I said I am serious about this because I really believe that if they are friends, if they are family, they should care enough to see that I do not fail at the family. I do not fail at the success of a family. And the success of a family depends on sustainability, depends on the efficiency, it depends on the needs. And these needs need to be thought about even before we go in. So this was my point. And I am still posing the same question to all of you, especially Africans. You have been at these events, you have contributed. Maybe you contribute money every month for some event, for some relative, for some friend. But do you ever ask, is this contribution going for the success of the resulting family or is it just fun for one day and then pain for the rest of our lives? This is the Tribal Root Studio and the program is Changing Mindsets. This is how I believe we can change our situation, we can improve and we can change the world with the right mindset for everyone even in the villages, even in the marginalized communities, the biggest uh, power we have is the numbers. If we can pull together, we can do great things. We can help businesses to stand. We can help small enterprises to begin. We can help families to stand. We can help the weak to stand up. We have got that power and we should exercise it. My name is Alina Zahil and this is the Tribal Root Studio, uh, speaking right from the foothills of the mountains of the moon in Uganda, Ishaka. And stay tuned. Please remember to share this video, subscribe, and if you'd like us to address anything, leave your mind in the comments.